Okay, we're starting at 035300. Three, three, oh, oh. Three, the past two, is your playground. One. Here we go. Right, wait, three, two, one. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now, I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Dewey, and this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate on the Media Cows. The Iron Ship's from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the greed guide you, you vagrants! Who 
poor man, more afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. BB Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. them for my head. And there we have it. We are in the game of Assassin's Creed Syndicate and we were playing none other than the man, the handsome man himself, Jacob. No, his name not Jacob? Oh well, you know, his name is what his name is. Um, well, thank you guys so much. I know it's been a while since you've seen uh, a walkthrough here on the channel and I welcome you guys to uh, Assassin's Creed. I hope you guys will stick around. Um, as a special little present to you guys for coming uh, to the stream, I will be giving away two copies of this game. Uh, and how you enter in is just by simply leaving a comment on the video, uh, explain to me what you're looking forward to with the series, uh, and, and, you know, maybe get a little extra brownie points if you tell us you your favorite doing? Media Cows video of all time. No one goes in or out. Well, I guess we're not going through that door. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to cause a problem. Um, so if you guys want to know my history with the Assassin's Creed games, I'm, I've always been a pretty big fan of them. Uh, I, uh, in lead up to this game, have played through pretty much every one of the old ones. Um, with the exception of the uh, PSP Vita one, uh, I think Liberty, uh, I, I did not play through that. Um, and I, you know, I actually have to agree uh, with the uh, with the fallen Siegel himself in that uh, I, I, uh, three was the worst. I did not like three, um, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's not talk about what's going on bad, what's going on good in the world. Uh, is we do have this game here. It's set in Industrial Revolution of London, which is uh, one of my favorite time periods. It really gives off the steampunk vibe. And uh, hey, look at this. I'm already having some difficulties climbing up here. I'm not. Maybe I have to go. It's it's not letting me. Okay, I want to I want to jump up there, but it's not letting me. So uh, maybe maybe I have to go over here first. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We made it up here, so that's good. Okay. Sabotage this bad boy. Oh. So maybe maybe at this point, you know, they, they might start noticing that something's going awry, but no, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna run through here. Jacob of course being the uh, the more brawly of the two. Uh, he's not as uh, stealth oriented uh, as Evie has been uh, you know, led us to believe. Me! You, uh, you got something to say? Inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man! Run along home. Not so subtle, you know? It's, it's kind of like, yeah, no, I killed him. And, uh, now I'm gonna attack you. Alright, so, uh, kind of get the handle on the game here. This is letting us know how the counter system works. Uh, we're looking for that yellow bar up above uh, his head here. Oh, that's that's too late. There you go. Now, now, counter. There you go. And oh, oh, wow. Okay, that did not give me quite uh, quite the opportunity to finish him off there, As, uh, or to counter. Oh God. So the the counters. Um, you got to really be paying attention to him here. And you know what? 
I played through a little bit of this game so far. Uh, this tutorial is actually probably the hardest countering that you'll have, at least early on in the game. Um, we'll see how it goes later on. You, you dick. Okay, I'll break your defense here. Then I'll break your nose. Then I'll break your stomach. Then I'll break your heart. Oh, and your head. Oh, that was that was that was quite a lot of blood. I'm sorry, sir. Are you are you okay? Are are you guys okay? I, I think I think they're not okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go through the store, guys. Just uh just clean that up for me. You know, it's fine. Ferris. And there's some dude just preaching to himself. Ferris Bueller? Are we are we coming for Ferris Bueller? All right, let's go this way. Now, there's a lot of customization in this game, guys, and I know every single one of you guys out here has probably already seen the skill tree. I want to know what you guys think I should be leveling up first. Uh, I've had a I've had a look at it, and I'm thinking that I'm going to want to go for uh, kind of up the stealth and uh, um, God, what the recreation tree, I think, is what the uh, third tree is called. There's fighting, stealth, and recreation, uh, and right now I'm favoring... Um, the stealth and recreation because that's how I kind of want to play this game but I want to know how you guys want to see this game played because as always I want to appeal to everyone um, I'm very much uh, so for those of you guys who haven't seen a lot of my walkthroughs um, this is maybe your first one I'm very much so in prompt to player um, and so I try to always make best of a bad situation so if I get caught uh, you know, if I'm trying to be stealthy and I get caught, I will do my best to salvage the situation. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty decent at it. So, uh, yeah. Right, this guy saw me, and I think I think I want to play a trick with him. He's gonna jump up. I'm gonna jump down. Let's try this like this losing system that they were talking about. Losing the the um, line of sight. Very similar to how Unity played. And he just hopped down here. And now he's gonna see me again. So bye. Yeah, no, you, you you saw nothing. Um, I am playing this with the day one patch. I am playing this on the PS4. Um, I don't know. I, uh, reviews have been pretty glowing about it, so let's we'll see. All right, we're up here up top. We've reached our first destination. Final, final, first, first destination. Okay, so stealth in this game is interesting uh it's a toggle on and off it's not no you don't hold down a button to stealth constantly it's just yeah press x and you put a hood over yourself and now you are in stealth um and the way it works is actually really cool and i really like this system so far uh it tells you uh this little ring around you tells you where enemies are because you can kind of hear them right and it'll tell you if they're below you, if it tell you if it's above you or in front of you. See how the the one on the right is kind of leaning down a little bit? Um, it's letting you know, hey, there's somebody down there. Um, so throwing knives, okay, all right. Not a one-hit kill. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll have to aim for the head next time. We'll see. Looting as always. You know, you gotta loot as many people. Guy, can you can you clean that up for me? Okay, thank you. I need I have I have things to do. I have other people to kill. I mean I mean um sleep. I have other people to make sleep. Cause that's what's happening. Okay. So far with the exception of that little stunt that we've had uh very in the beginning. Oh, oh, oh. Uh you guys see nothing. You oh god. Okay, that's right, that's right, we're industrial revolution, so people have guns. People will shoot you. Um, but luckily people are also blind, uh, and so we can escape them very easily. This, of course, is, is a famed factory. Uh, well, maybe not a famed one, but it is a factory set in the industrial revolution. Um, so that's, uh, you know, you got child laborers and everything. That whole, you know, should we make kids work? Should we not make kids work? That thing's still, you know, people are still thinking about that right now. Um, and they, they just seem like they're not having a good time over there. Poor kid. You know what? You'll be fine, kid. I'm gonna go uh, kill the leader here, and it'll be it'll be good. Oh, 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 oh. I'm still kind of playing around. I'm not sure what uh, their sight radius is, how forgiving uh, it's going to be, so... You know, play, better play safe than sorry. But I, I do like to live on the edge. Um, 
and kind of almost be caught and kind of live on that uh, that little border there. Okay. What are you guys doing down there? Okay, is this the guy we have to assassinate? Maybe we'll just sneak up all nice behind him and... I can't do anything to you. Hello, LJK. Uh, don't mind me. This kid's like, what? What is happening? What? What? What are you? Why are you sneaking around here? Yeah, you got to be up to no good. We're gonna start making trouble in your neighborhood. We're gonna get in like one little fight, and our mom's gonna get scared. And then, uh, yeah, then we're gonna move to London because uh, Bel Air doesn't exist yet. So. Uh, oh, mm. so I don't, I don't, I don't know if these guys are going to uh, catch me or not. I don't know if they're bad. Um, oh, sorry, kid. <laughs> I know you're probably your life is already pretty, uh, pretty intense, and maybe we could just hang on this rail, and we can. Oh, or we'll just drop down here. Okay, all right, Jacob. Um, let's. Uh, I'm gonna keep calling him Jacob till I remember his name, or uh, they tell me differently. Uh, so if his name isn't Jacob, then, well, please forgive me. Um, we'll figure that out soon enough. You know, if his name isn't Jacob, I'll give away another copy of Assassin's Creed. So if I only get three copies of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I will give away. Um, and we'll make wagers throughout, like, that stuff throughout the rest of this game, because I have a bad memory, and you guys, uh, you should be rewarded for that bad memory. Oh, God. Okay. Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. You know, it's the most brutal health care plan possible. It's, you mess up, and we're going to send you to the doctor. Uh, but we're also going to take it straight from your pay. At a final it's like, price, Mr. Ferris. you know, that would really suck if you have to pay uh, for your health care right out of your paycheck. That would just, I feel like that would just be unfair. And uh, wait, wait a sec, that, that's, that's how America works right now. That's mm, mm, interesting. Okay, so Eagle Vision is uh, the left stick. Let me just kind of toggle it on and off and... Seems like this is probably going to be one of the more useful things we have. Uh, we can mark people, and then we can then see them indefinitely behind walls and that kind of stuff. We cannot eagle vision through walls, which, uh, you know, I guess that would be pretty broken. So let's, uh, we're not too concerned about that. But, all right, Jacob. Oh, I, I got turned around. I thought I was uh, on this area. That's okay. I like the violin. You hear the violin in the background? I really appreciate that. Violins... Violins are just great for me. Um, and that, that seems to be a pretty big theme in this game so far. But we have, uh, okay, we have some guy in the hallway there. Oh, and we have another guy over here. Okay, um, can he see me here? Just maybe if I stand still, he can't see me. Excuse me. Oh, no, can't go up there. Uh, I, I want to get this guy. I just don't know if it's going to be worth it. Oh. Okay, we marked him. Okay. Oh, scared me for a second there. I thought uh, I thought maybe we had uh, not marked him. Mm. Let's see, I quite count Dracula hide behind a little cape here. Mm, okay. Well, just, okay, not anyone over there. No, there's some kids there. Kids, don't look. Close your eyes. Okay, they weren't looking. They're just really oblivious to the world. We're, uh, kids, we, we don't, we're, we're gonna, he's, uh, he needs to go take a nap. He was drunk again, so we're gonna just go toss him in this not dead room. I mean, I mean, he's not dead. He's, he's dead. He's, oh, God. I uh, just, what, what, just, we'll just put him, put him, put him dead here. He's just gonna sleep out here. All right. Those kids, those kids have been scarred for life, but it's okay. We'll just move on. It's fine. All right. We got one guy there, and there's, I know there's, there's a dude, like, right, right below me here, but I can't can't move my cursor to spot him. But luckily, there's these handy dandy ways to maneuver and go over everything. Look at that furnace. All the different smelting of everything. It's crazy. Okay, mark him. Not that I think he's gonna be important, because it looks like he could just kind of go around everyone here. Um, 
Yeah, no one over there. Okay. I thought there might be like one other guy here. And we've got a bunch of entry points. And now, I'm going to tell you guys, just right from the bat, the get-go, I'm going to choose the top one pretty quickly, because, or pretty often. Uh, if I have a bunch of different options to get in there, top is almost always going to be best, because let's just... That's how assassins kind of go in, you know? We uh, use height to our advantage. And provide the raw material to build several new trains. Expect a knighthood for this. No, don't bite that. It's, oh, oh, sorry. Lady, lady, lady. Oh, God. I hope that wasn't his wife. That's really awkward. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon. You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. <sighs> Upgraded over the feather, I see. Well, that about does it for this episode. There's one more cinematic to go, but thank you guys so much for joining me. And, uh, oh, we have to escape. I was just kidding. There's more. Preemptive, preemptive ending here. Okay, okay, okay I'll go. Um, yeah, but uh, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming. Uh, make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe. Uh, there's a lot of content coming up here. Lots of Assassin's Creed. Hey, 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 I saw that broom. Don't think you got away with that. You were you were using some witchcraft there. Um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the giveaway. Um, I'll announce the giveaway at the end of the series. Uh, the winners of that. Um, any other additional things that we've earned there just through my own stupidity um, and uh, through my own stupidity you'll be rewarded Impeccable time. but how, how do you see me oh train 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 Jacob J Jacob Jacob J train 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 okay oh, oh that's a square all right okay yeah see the countering's a little bit easier here okay I guess I shouldn't just try to run away. I don't want to run away. What am I talking about? I want to murder. What are you doing here? There you go. Take that. Take the punch. And he's gone. Uh, hey, hey. Okay, I need to X you. There you go. Ba bam Counter, and you're off the train. Don't throw stuff at me. You're countered. Okay, I need some supplies. That's fine. I'll loot these bodies once I'm done with them. I'm not really escaping. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing escaping-wise, but thank you guys so much again for joining us on this epic adventure. Remember, stay tuned as always for more, um, and I look forward to working with you and walking uh, you through this each and every episode. We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Oh, ho, pretty guys there. You thought I was done, but I'm not. There's still a little bit more to this uh, 
this mission here, and we we got some very uh very Nathan Drake like levels going on. Oh God, jumping like that. He's got he's got the hops. He got Michael Jordan level hops. Okay, maybe not quite that, because I mean you know no one can really be on par with Michael Jordan. He's Michael Jordan. He's like the Dewey of walkthroughs. Maybe next time I'll walk. There we go. Next time we're walking. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.